Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shenanigans, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Welcome my little babies. Welcome to New Makeup Hangover. This idea was created between myself and Perfectly M and Audrey at home. Basically this is the runoff from the New Makeup Nonsense Bingo series because y'all know we pull a lot of images and we often don't go through all of them. One day we will and that will be our St. Patrick's Day special but that's neither here or there. This video doesn't have any bingo cards, doesn't have any adult libations, sometimes it has an edible or two. But today I have to go to work. So it's more like I don't have coffee. So it's water and contemplation because I don't feel like going downstairs because if I do, I will fall asleep on my couch. So in these videos, we talk about some of the stuff that happened last week along with some new makeup products that were released because as you know, every five seconds a new makeup product gets its wings. And with that said, definitely go check out Imperfectly M and Audrey at home and tell them I said, <sighs> Hi. I don't think I have a lot to talk about from last week. I think there's only really one release that everybody, everybody and their mother was like, oh my God, bad, 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 bad. And I'm like, I know I didn't get, I didn't pull it. I'm so sorry, but we'll talk about it in a second. But hold on, let me see if there's anything else that like tickled my makeup pickle. Dick, makeup dick. Come on, girl. <laughs> no, Blah. Oh, coffee looked cool. Yeah. <laughs> The coffee stuff, that looks interesting. I actually really like their eyeliners. I would be interested in trying their uh, cream blushes. So when I get to Sephora, I will do so. But the thing that um, I didn't get to pull is this thing. Okay, um, everybody and their mom, everybody and their mother literally was like, oh, bitch, did you see this? <laughs> did you see this? Did you see this? Did you see this? Hey, did you see this? This is for you, this is for you, this is for you. Hey, did you see this? Did you see it? This is for you. I loved it. And of course I bought it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> how could I not buy it? Okay, I literally, I think every day, every day, whether I'm recording a video or not, I think I say makeup dick at least once a day, if not six times a day. <laughs> I like to bring up makeup dick in casual conversations. I'll be in Starbucks. Yes, I'll have a venti chestnut praline latte because they still have them here in Florida, so thank you. Also, yes, did you know about my makeup dick? <laughs> Anyway, um, I bought this, I bought this. Um, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't care how much money it is. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, I, this is perfect. Uh, but what I really do like though is that proceeds, and this is kind of the weird funny part that I love about companies, is that there are proceeds, proceeds, that are gonna be donated to Planned Parenthood. So I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. So what I wanna do is, um, see, kind of all depends. It really all depends. I ordered the lipstick and the balm, cause why the fuck not? I believe it should arrive sometime soon. So me and Alex are gonna do a, <laughs> a video unboxing it and trying it on and having fun. Ew, that's a different kind of video and that's behind a paywall, but whatever. I'm sure there's at least four of you that would probably wanna see, three, maybe three and a half, would wanna see that. But anyway, we're gonna have a, a video unboxing them and playing with them. And I, why do I, can't, I keep saying the same thing over and over again. You get what I'm saying now. Anyway, we're gonna be playing with them. <laughs> I'm so tired. We're gonna be playing with this stuff. Anyway, now here's the deal. I plan on donating 100% of the proceeds to initially was gonna be Planned Parenthood. Then a lovely subscriber reached out to me and was like, hey, you ever think about donating to some other charities? And so I contacted Kate the Great who informed me of two really good charities, which hold on, let me just, I don't wanna butcher their names or anything like that. So let me just get you the proper names. So the first one is the Sister Song Women of Color Reproductive Justice Collective. And the other one is the National Network of Abortion Funds. So here's the deal. Regardless if I make any money off that video because I'm sure shit, it's gonna be heavily demonetized. Um, I'm gonna have to get creative with that one. <laughs> anyway, whatever money I make from that video, which I'm probably not gonna be much, it'll probably be like uh, all of like $6 because of that's how uh, demonetization works. I plan on making a personal donation. And yes, I will actually have proof because I know people don't like to put proof in their shit. So I want to make at least two donations uh, to both of those places. And of course, I'll leave that in a community tab or something or other, whatever, you'll see it. <laughs> The point is I wanna be transparent because as much as I like the idea that they're gonna be giving money to Planned Parenthood, it's like a portion of the proceeds. And it's like, what does that exactly mean? So um, that's what we plan on doing. Definitely be on the lookout for that. I believe, hold on, I think I have the shipping confirmation because the shit did ship. They're $95 a piece. Like I realize how incredibly expensive they are. They're ridiculous, but I needed it. <laughs> 
I need it. Okay, the day that I'm recording this, which is the 9th, it's supposed to arrive today. <gasps> ah! Okay, I'm so excited. Wait, is it really here? Oh, it is here. Okay. <laughs> I see it's in Lakeland. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm getting my dicks today. Anyway, I'm so excited. So expect a video sometime next week. I do have a couple of videos that have to go up next week. So it'll probably be Tuesday, probably be somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I am so excited. Also, oh wait, hold on a second. Before I even go any further, um, I do want to say that uh, Alex is having a very special live stream. It's the most wholesome thing that you're going to find on the internet. I know, mix with makeup dick. Um, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Way. The most wholesome thing, we're having a cookie-thon where Alex is baking cookies. He's a really good baker. He's baking cookies and he's actually going to be shipping cookies. Of course, you have to purchase them. He'll be shipping cookies. So if you want to check that out, I believe the stream will be at like two o'clock Eastern Standard this Saturday, pending construction because the construction people are across the street and they usually work on Saturdays. So we can't have it all rumbly tumbly if uh, that's going on. But anyway, uh, I will have all the information down below uh, to check it out. And of course I'll be like yelling about it for the next few days or whatever. But definitely if you wanna come hang out, play some games, bake some cookies with us, maybe we'll have a makeup dick there or two. <laughs> Feel free to come hang out and um, yeah, just, Hi. So yes, I did buy this and I'm super excited to put this all over my damn face and my husband's face too. Feel really good about that. 2023 is, is starting off a real wild fucking year. <laughs> So that was the only thing uh, that I didn't get to talk about uh, last week and uh, that is fun. Love it. Okay, so let's talk about some stuff that's going on this week, which there are a lot of things. So, so the first one is I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't like these weird uh, T virus shades. Um, this is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Bubble Balm, which, by the way, they also came out with pretty much the same thing that Danessa Myricks came out with. Which my video of all the new Danessa Myricks products are going to be coming out on Monday. It's actually also what I have on my face today. Whatever. Spoiler alert. They're fucking great. They're fantastic. Highly recommend checking them out. Whatever, you'll see the video. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun playing with them. Um, but when I see um, Makeup Revolution, I mean, I'm not surprised. Like when they're not doing shitty Disney collaborations, right? Or weird IPs that sometimes I really want, um, they are duping the shit out of other products. And when I look at this, it's kind of like a mixture between Jones Road, right? A little bit of that weird bomb product and a little bit of the Danessa Myricks um, new blush bombs. And it's like, uh, okay. They're $12. The Danessa Myricks one is, I think, $25. Yeah, $25. So about like half the price. Obviously can't speak to Makeup Revolution's quality. For me, they're really hit or miss. Um, but when I do something right, like it's really, really good. But oftentimes I have a lot more misses with them. But when I see this, I'm kind of just like, eh, okay. But I think this is kind of more of a Jones Road dupe than it is a Danessa Myricks dupe. Jones Road, you know that Miracle Bomb stuff? So I had it, right? I decluttered it because I don't understand how the fuck to use it. <laughs> I've read the instructions, I've seen the videos, it still doesn't make any sense, okay? My hamster in my wheel and my brain is dead. I don't get it. <laughs> like, I don't understand how people use it and what it's supposed to do, okay? So um, I am incredibly curious to see like how these hold up in comparison to that product, but I felt it to be very kind of just greasy and just no porpoise at all. At least with the Danessa Myricks, it's more of like a very smooth, smooth, buttery experience that is just very, very incredibly easy to use and to work with. This just looks like fucking candle wax. <laughs> Much like that Jones Road shit. I don't know. I just don't get it. Now, what I do love from Jones Road, like I love the goddamn concealer. That concealer is fantastic. And I love the new bronzer. I think it's really, really good. Especially for me, Uncooked Chicken. I think it's such a beautiful color. It's a different color. It's a weird color, but I like it. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so this is kind of like a, mm, no, I'll pass. You know, I definitely don't want the original and I'm sure as shit, not going to want the dupe. Now, the other product is that weird um, Huda Beauty T-Virus shade. I, Petri dish. I don't know what the fuck these are. But I... I, 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 I hate these. Bomb products are so interesting because I think when they're done right, like they could be really beautiful and they look seamless and they look like just so good on the skin. But then you have some products that are just like straight up fucking wax or just oil and it just looks weird and like an oil slick on your face and it's just gross and nobody has time for that. So it's interesting that this is becoming more and more of the trend in 2023. And I, I get it. Like you kind of have to be innovative right now, right? Because often I'm one of the people that are complaining about it. Like everything's been 
done, done, show me something new. And now you're just showing me this stuff, which I was like, listen, I like that you're going in a, like a different direction, just not this one. <laughs> Can you go in any other direction? I don't want to put something that resembles cholera under a microscope. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's a no for me, fam. Um, so yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Makeup Revolution, like I said, if they're not doing shitty Disney collabs where they're not even trying half the time, they are doing some weird ass dupe situation that I'm like, no, I'm cool. I'm all set. Um, also, didn't we learn anything from TikTok, right? Like Jones Road, like. <laughs> whatever anyway so um yeah that's a no for me so i'm gonna politely decline and pass on all that stuff plus i believe actually jones road hilariously enough wait a second I'm, let me go look at this one now too because it's it's sitting there on trend moots page there is a new miracle bomb shade in the shade miami beach lol hilarious okay <laughs> This one at least looks like there's color to it. I think the one that I had was like au naturel, which again, like really don't know what the fuck to do with that one. That one just made your face look greasy, but even in the swatch, okay. There's one picture in the Miracle Bomb where it looks like somebody has something on their face. Everybody else looks like they have nothing on their face. Is that what it is? Is that the Emperor of New Clothes Bomb? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. This is fucking confusing and weird. I hate it. This is weird. Why are they not wearing anything on their, face but they're smiling this is a fucking black mirror episode i can't <laughs> i can't that's what we're living in 2023 oh god all right so no, this is a no for me too um ew no okay let's just let's 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 get in a better mood okay so right now we're like really salty on this friday for me it's a thursday but whatever you know what i'm talking about let's see all right so that was garbage blah 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 oh okay speaking of more garbage <laughs> Gucci, 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 Gucci. Um, pff, ugh, okay, so this thing. So this is the Etern, oh God, I'm guessing it's the Eternal Beauty or Eternite de Beauté. Sorry, foundation, SPF 15, okay. Powered by a combination of high skin affinity powders and coated pigments. All right, whatever. Designed to cocoon skin. <laughs> Who the fuck writes this? Designed to cocoon skin with a hydrated and breathable finish. It holds a second skin fill for all day comfort. Plus, infused with bamboo powder. It helps control shine for up to 24 hours while blurring pores. So $67 for 40 shades. Um, you know, I think I'm still fucking hurt from the last Gucci complexion product I had. Not the blushes, those are fucking king. Um, but the foundation. That foundation was garbage and I hated myself for even spending that kind of money. Um, this though, this though, kind of sounds interesting, especially the cocooning part. Um, that... <laughs> I don't even know why I had to say it like that, but I just kind of feel like I had to. Um, that part kind of sounds like, ooh, what is, what is this about? That makes me a little bit interested in wanting to try it. But is it going to be good? I don't know. So I think right now it's currently available. And for $67, that, uh, that is, that's steep. That's steep, right? Not to say that is the most expensive thing I've tried. I've had foundations that were like over $100 that I swear by, you know. Uh, looking at you, Sicily and La Mer, like those are fucking great. Uh, but Gucci, it's like they have a high price tag and I always love their aesthetic but like when it comes to actual products they are incredibly hit or miss uh i would be interested to try this if this comes to the sephora and it's during the sephora rouge sale i i because i just i have a feeling this is gonna be fucking garbage i feel like this is gonna dry out my skin make me look matte and flat and gross and i'm gonna hate it even looking at the photos of the models they just look flat they look flat they're just like i'm mad that i have this on too <laughs> I just don't like it. Mm. Also, there's a lot of different shades and I can't even really tell what color would be good for me because they all look the same. I don't fucking know. So yes, I would purchase this, but only during the Sephora sale just, just to try it. But I would want that deep, deep 20, that deep, deep 20% discount. But you know what I mean now. Actually, oh, I do have a fucking, oh, I have a rouge reward <gasps> and I have to use it. <gasps> oh my God, wait, do, oh, did it expire? Oh, you bitch, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yay. It expires on March 27th. I have time. So I'm hoping that this comes to Sephora because I would pick it up with that. <laughs> I would feel actually even better about my purchase if I did that. So yeah, it's a yes, but just not with 
you know, physical cash money. I'd rather use the points on it. And ultimately, you'll probably get disappointed that I use those points on it, but whatever. Either here or there at this point, right? Anyway, so this is a put a pin in it and we'll come back to it. I don't hate it completely. So the next one we have is the Battle of the Bronzers. So we have one from Milk Makeup and then we also have one from Tower 28. So let's talk about the Milk Makeup one first. So Milk Makeup it came out with the Sculpt Cream Contour Stick. Oh, it's a contour. I'm sorry. I call it a bronzer. It's a contour. And, uh, bitch, that looks fucking good. That fair to light shade looks super good. It looks super, super cool tone. And I'm excited to put that on my goddamn face. This one will actually be coming to Sephora on February 14th. So that's pretty fucking exciting. I'm curious though to see the, the size of this though. It's kind of hard to tell if it's going to be like how that blur stick was, or if it's going to be like the little, little mini one. It's kind of hard to tell in this picture. Actually, wait a second. I can't tell the model. Mm, I can't tell. I'm curious, but, um, in any case though, I do have a milk makeup bronzer. I think a liquid bronzer that came out, was it last year? I don't fucking remember, but I do have one. This guy, this one. Oh, I remember why I don't really use it this one too much uh, because the color was a little bit too like warm leaning on my skin that I wasn't a huge fan of, but I didn't mind the formula though. The formula I thought was cool. I just was not really a fan of the color. Also the product that I'm talking about is not, <laughs> it's a contour bitch. It's not a bronzer. Okay, so I need to shut the fuck up. Um, Anyway, point is, uh, for a second I was like, wait a second, didn't they just release that? They released a bronzer. This is a contour. Get it together. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I, I definitely want to pick this up because I want to see uh, how this is going to fare for someone like me with fair skin. Ha ha ha. And I'm also intrigued even more because I really wanted to like the Fenty matchstick thing. I remember getting it and was like, oh, okay. And then I realized over time it just was like really patchy and very difficult to work with on my skin and I just ultimately decluttered it. So I'm curious to see how this is going to hold up for me and I cannot wait to try it. It looks so fucking good. Now the other one is actually technically a cream contour and bronzer from Tower 28. And this one looks definitely a little bit more warm leaning clearly, but it doesn't look too bad. So the shade broad, which is a fair light shade, looks like it's kind of more of like a warm neutral than anything. But I am curious to see how it would look on my skin. So this one uh, is going to be $20 and it's going to be dropped uh, the day after the Milk Make one comes out. So this one will be available on the 15th. And I really like it. Listen, I like Tower 28's product. I like their little glosses. I love their skincare stuff, like the SOS spray and the little red relief serum shit. Those are fantastic. Everything I pretty much tried from Tower 28, I've thoroughly enjoyed. Their blushes, their glosses are fucking fabulous. So I'm curious to see how I'm going to like this, but if it's going to be anything like the blush products, then I'm not going to have a problem with it. It's going to be fantastic. Um, but yeah, this one though is a cream contour to softly shape and sculpt your face with a blendable texture and neutral undertones interesting. With green tea extract, mango seed butter, and castor seed oil. Okay, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I mentioned, it looks a little bit more like warm neutral, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it fares uh, when I do pick that up, but I plan on picking up both because I'm just so curious to try. So curious. Uh, but yeah, I like these. I always really like this time of the year with makeup releases because it's always really kind of just cool complexion products. While these are, you know, obviously not reinventing the wheel. They just look really nice. <laughs> so I want to try them. Anyway, so let's go on. Let's see, what else do we have to talk about today? Oh, I think I kind of like sped through a lot of shit today. There really isn't that much else. Let's see. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Lisa Eldridge. I, oh my God, if you've never, listen, if you've never tried the lip products, bitch, I don't know what you're doing, try them. The foundation, I like the foundation. Is it something I use all the time? No, kind of forget about it because it has like a very weird kind of spaceship kind of a bottle that is kind of too heavy. It doesn't really sit well upright. So it's kind of like in the back of the drawer and I forget about it every time I open it. And also the fact that it was just, you know, it was a fine formula, but it wasn't like winning any fucking awards. It's not making me want to use it every day, right? That said, when it comes to their lip products though, bitch, believe the hype. The lipsticks, the lip gloss, the lip liner, it, for anything is amazing. I don't know what is in it, but it's just fantastic. So uh, looks like Lisa Eldridge is coming out with more shades in the Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss. So these retail for $25. They're not cheap by any means. When I tell you they're one of the most fantastic things to put in your mouth, like, oh, fucking believe the hype. Really, really, really believe the hype. So these are actually available today as I'm filming it. <laughs> I'm going to be making a purchase. <laughs> But these are a gloss and lip care hybrid with key lip care ingredients, including wild mango kernel butter, 
didn't even know that was a thing, but it is. Acai berry oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E oil. So you have a barrage of colors, dancing rose, a mix of rose pink, lavender, and violet. Ooh, okay, that could be cute. Silent sun, a gold pearl swirled into a transparent base. Ooh, fancy. Sorcery, a cool tone earthy rose with a touch of mauve. Apps of fucking lutely, carnival. Ooh, electric pink. That is real estate Barbara right there. We have rain, a muted medium warm pink. Pompadour, a fresh true pink. Decade, a cool tone syrupy chocolate between brown and a berry. That looks gorgeous. It will not look good on me, but in others it'll look fantastic. Blush lightly, a muted cool tone pink with a mauve undertone. I love pinky, just pinky, nudie, mauve glosses. This is right up my alley. Super fucking excited to pick it up. But again, if you've never tried, I recommend splurging on some of their lip products. I don't think they do sales very often. I don't think anyone has any codes or whatever. So you're gonna have to bite the bullet if you are interested in picking it up to pay full price. But when I tell you it's so worth it, it's so worth it. It's just such a beautiful luxury item. Honestly, like compared to some other like luxury products that I own, especially like in the lip department, this formula is fucking fantastic and so much better than some of the shit you find in Sephora. So highly recommend checking this out, but I'm super excited. Anything that Lisa Eldridge puts out when it comes to Lips, I'm all about. Moving on to the next thing. At first I was a little confused when I saw this, but this is from uh, Cosmic Brushes. I still have not tried anything from this brand. I think every time I try to pick something up, it's always sold out and um, rightfully so, like their color stories are top notch, but I'm not gonna lie. When I saw this one, I was like, oh, isn't this just that other palette that came out last year? It's not, but it looks kind of similar, but not really. This looks so nice. So this has 20 shades. This is called the Muse palette. You have 12 matte eight metallics, one iridescent, and three duochromes. It's $23. It's very, very affordable. And the color story just looks so goddamn beautiful. There's blues, there's purples, there's greens. There's a little bit of like a grungy neutralness to it that I really enjoy as well. I thoroughly fucking love this. I have never tried this brand before. So if you have one of their palettes, let me know down below if it is worth uh, checking out because uh, I just don't want any more inferior bullshit products in my life. <laughs> I'm too old. I only want good things now. I don't even want okay things. I'm starting to even side eye okay things, okay? Like, <laughs> I just want the best of the best of the best of the best with honors. I don't want anything else, but I'm thoroughly curious though to see if this is like something worth checking out or if it's just like beautifully crafted swatches and in reality, it's just fucking hot garbage. You know what I mean? But this looks really cool and I like it. And dare I say, I really thought it was the fucking other palette. And I was like, oh no, it's not. Okay, it's something else. What's the palette I'm thinking of? Oh, it's the Serenity palette. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I feel like the two of those palettes, do I necessarily need both of them? That's the question. I don't think so. They kind of look like they have some overlap, but not really. Interesting. Also, it looks like they're having issues with shipping. That's the other thing. Has anyone purchased from them and then have not received their package? Let me know down below, I'm curious. But it looks like due to the Royal Mail, blah, 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 all that bullshit. No, that sucks. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm curious to try this, but uh, I don't know, I just haven't really quite pulled the trigger yet. So let me know down below if this is something that I should pull the trigger on, because uh, yeah. It's beautiful, it really is. Probably one of the nicer looking palettes I've seen in a hot minute. Ooh, those swatches, the gradient swatches from the actual brand's website. I'll post them right over here. It's uh, fucking, oh my God, that's gorgeous. Ooh, that kind of makes me just want to buy the palette just so I can do a look based off that. Okay, fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I don't even care about the feedback. I just, now I just want it. I'm gonna buy it, I don't care. And if it gets here in three years, it gets here in three years and it'll be like Christmas day when I get it. So I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, do I have anything else? Oh yeah, I have two more products. Ooh, all right. So the next product I wanna talk about, which I'm super fucking excited to talk about, it's the Perfect World Collection. Okay, so this is from Odin's Eye. They're coming out with three brand new palettes. This is the new influencer collaboration. This is gonna be available on the 14th and I don't know the prices as of yet, but um, you know, I'm gonna make a video on these, on these palettes so I'll have all that information there uh, but here they are these are these are fucking good so I actually have one of them on my face today and that is from makeup just for fun my girl Amanda fucking love her love her to fucking pieces oh my god my Colourpop queen I love her palette I love her palette so much this is like 
so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Again, it's what I have on my face. If you are familiar with Odin's eye quality, then rest assured that you are getting a good motherfucking thing. This is so good. So we have makeup just for fun. We have our beautiful Betty Jean, you know, our little baddie bean. We have her beautiful color story, which is very fun. Very Florida, which I like, I'm gonna say. It feels very tropical, very fun, feels very Florida. So I can't wait to slap this all over my face. I have not played with this one yet or with the last one, which is from Lauren May Beauty. Love the shit out of her too. Honestly, these three creators are fucking fantastic. If you don't know them, bitch, you're living under a rock. They are absolutely wonderful. I love their content. And I'm so fucking happy for them because this is a really big fucking deal. And this is really, really fucking cool. And I love that they got to create something really fun. Anyway, this is Lauren's palette. Lauren's palette is also beautiful as well. I love this kind of oceanic theme. This is also gorgeous. So it's like we have planet Earth. It's kind of like Captain Planet, I guess. <laughs> It's like Earth, water, Florida. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Anyway, I don't know why that broke me. <laughs> I am just that tired. <laughs> Give me a minute. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I, I don't know why, because in my head, I just imagine like Captain Planet just holding up this ring and then just someone from Florida. Florida, <sighs> hold my beer. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, fucking weird fucking state. She hits the planet one. We have Sea Talk and then we have the Flora palette. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. And again, I only tried this one on and it's what I have on my face, which I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a bunch of you being like, what's on your eyes? What's on your eyes? What's on your eyes? It's this. They get released on the 14th, which is Tuesday. So I'll have my video up for y'all to enjoy. If you are ever interested in wanting to pick up anything from Odin's Eye, I am affiliated with them. So first of all, thank you so much to Odin's Eye for sending these my way. And second of all, if you are interested in ever picking up anything, please use the code garbage and you can save some money off your order. Now, I don't know if technically the code is going to apply to these. I feel like they usually don't. I don't know. Try it. Don't try it. Whatever. Do what you got to do. But uh, it's there for you to use. <laughs> if you're so inclined. And then the last thing I want to talk about, uh, because uh, everybody yesterday was tagging me in this. At the time that I'm recording this, okay, it looks like Glamlight is going to be collaborating with Chucky. <gasps> Bitch, I'm so fucking excited. When I saw that, I was like, F what is it? What is it? What is it? Now, I have no idea, but it looks like there's a mirror involved. I that, I don't even give a fuck what it looks like. <laughs> I don't give a shit what the collection looks like. I want it. I want it. I want it now. Give it to me now, daddy. So I don't have any more information other than this looks fucking amazing. But what's interesting though about this collection is that it looks like the brand's vice president actually created this. His name is Anthony and Anthony created this collection. So it looks like um, in their photo, it looks like there could be potentially an eyeshadow palette that looks really just fucking dark and sultry. And I really hope it's an eyeshadow palette. I really do. Because again, I have no idea what the fuck it is uh, but it looks like definitely there's a lipstick which I'm so actually intrigued to try because I remember trying their other lipsticks in the past and I think like two of them I was like yes the other one I was like oh god, god no but knowing that Smashbox just released like their Chucky kind of like their Masters of Horror collection right last year I'm so curious to see what that's gonna be like in comparison because that Smashbox lipstick is fucking great I, I have like literally four backups like that's how much I love that Chucky lipstick but this one looks so good I love the Tiffany it looks so interesting but anyway so this is like inspired by the ultimate killer doll love story. This collection celebrates the inclusivity, diversity, and beauty in all of us. Love has no limits and knows no boundaries. This is really interesting. So I am intrigued. My makeup dick is perked up real high. <laughs> because I want to know what the fuck it is. And regardless of whatever it is, I want to buy it because listen, I am just a sucker for capitalism. <laughs> take that money with me in the grave. <laughs> I can't, all right? So I might as well blow all of it. <laughs> anyway, so this looks really, really cool. So I'm excited. And thank you and everybody's mom for tagging me. It's just really funny juxtaposition uh, the last few days. If it's not a makeup dick, it's Chucky. So says a lot about who I am. <laughs> Anyway, super fucking excited to check those out. And uh, I, I just can't wait. The only thing that kind of makes me go, Ugh, that kind of sucks, is that it's being released exactly on Valentine's Day. I kind of wish that it was teased out in January and you would have everything by February 14th. I feel like that would have been a much better play. But I mean, it is what it is whatever. But in any case, I'm just excited to fucking pick it up because I can't wait to put it on my goddamn purse. Any hoosies. Ugh. <sighs> 
that's my cue. Do you hear that? Okay, I need to wrap this video up because uh, the fucking earth is shaking underneath me and my head's about to explode from my misophonia. <sighs> okay, anyway, so uh, those are the makeup products uh, that we talked about this week. Uh, obviously, next week will be our makeup bingo. But yeah, there wasn't like a lot of stuff that really came out this week that was like super interesting. I guess yes and no, right? Like there were some things that were like, ooh, and then some things that were like, mm, eh, whatever. Anyway, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if there's anything that you wanna pick up um, out of the products that we talked about today or if there's something that, you know, you want me to check out or whatever, let me know down below. I want to hear from you. And of course, definitely go check out Imperfectly M and Audra at home. And also check out our cookie stream um, that Alex is doing on his channel, which will be uh, this Saturday, February 11th, right? 11th. I know dates the 11th. Uh, definitely go check it out. Come say hi. Buy a cookie. Don't buy a cookie. Just come hang out with us. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll be playing a lot of games and shit. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. Anyway, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage about to float. Couldn't do without you. Love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what is currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below, along with all the little fun links that I talked about. And uh, with that said, I will see you little cupcakes later. Bye.